Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. How are you? It's great to see you and welcome back. Today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh. HelloFresh is a food delivery service that brings fresh ingredients right to your doorstep so that you can make a home cooked meal in about 30 minutes. HelloFresh is a great way to save time. You can save trips to the grocery store. All your ingredients come pre-portioned. And if you need to save even more time, HelloFresh has fast and fresh recipes that make recipes that come together in about 15 to 20 minutes. Delicious fast and fresh recipes include falafel power bowls and Southwest pork and bean burritos. HelloFresh has 40 weekly recipes to choose from. It is a great way to break out of recipe ruts, including family friendly, vegetarian, calorie smart, and carb smart. So pre-portioned ingredients means less food waste. It also saves you a ton of prep time. You can get your recipes done quickly and yet have the satisfaction of a home cooked meal. And this week, my family's favorite meal was the mozzarella mushroom hoagies with home fries. So if you'd like to try HelloFresh for yourself, click the link down below or go to HelloFresh com and use my code emmymade 65 to receive 65% off and free shipping. Big thanks to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video and for allowing me to make better videos for all of you. So today, lovelies, we are going to be making Neanderthal food. Isn't that incredible? food from 70,000 years ago. There was an article in The Guardian, I'll put a link in the description, that said that researchers and scientists found 70,000 year old patties in caves in present day Iraq that they believe Neanderthal ate. And when they broke it down and looked inside, it found that it was mostly grains and pulses, which are like lentils or beans, ground up with wild mustard, formed into a patty or cake and cooked. Isn't that incredible? So today I'm going to be attempting to make a analogous version of this so we can get a taste of what potentially Neanderthal ate besides eating wild game. It sounds absolutely fascinating and pretty, pretty simple. So outside I've got a stone that I've been heating up on some charcoal. Uh, we don't want to bring charcoal inside. It's quite dangerous. There's all kinds of off-gassing, carbon monoxide namely. So we're going to be doing the cooking portion outside. And I thought cooking it on a stone would make it a little bit more authentic feeling. So today's video is inspired by another article I read in The Guardian. I'll put a link down below to that in which the writer tries to get an approximation of what Neanderthal man ate. And so I'm using that for my reference. So let's go ahead and get started. I've got two types of lentils. I've got brown lentils and green lentils, kind of wild beans. We're going to be using pistachios. Apparently Neanderthal had access to wild pistachios, also wild almonds. These happen to be slivered because that's what I had in my pantry. And this is wheat or wheat berries. So this is what wheat looks like before we grind it into flour. And right here I've got some dried mustard seed. What I did last night was I combined the lentils and the dried wheat berries, which are all both very, very hard. And I soaked them overnight in some water. Here are my grains and my beans. Beans need to be fully cooked. So we have to make sure that we cook these at least 10 minutes on our stone. So here I have two rocks, essentially. My husband actually found these. This, I am not sure. Geologists do tell me what kind of stone this is. It does seem quite soft. And another rock to use as a bit of a grinder. Take our soaked grains and beans. It actually breaks up pretty nicely. Except I'm getting bits flying all over the place, but it is grinding it up. Neanderthal did not have access to salt, so we will not be seasoning this with any salt. We're just going to be using the flavors of the food itself. It smells earthy. <laughs> The grinding process is going to help aid in digestion and allow us to get more nutrition from the food itself. That is the whole reason why we chew our food and why we have saliva. It's to help in the whole kind of mastication, crushing up of food business. This is pretty mush. Let's try it in the mortar and pestle. My experience with the mortar and pestle is that you don't want to add too much because then you kind of lose the power of the pestle, which is quite heavy. The mass of the stone itself helps you crush things. To this, we're also going to add our almonds and pistachios. 
That will give us more nutrition and yummy flavor. Look at that, pretty good. This is already pretty sticky. The article said add a little bit of water to make this into a sludge, but I don't think it needs it. I think the water that we use to soak the grains and seeds, nuts, is gonna be enough. <laughs> little grain burger, oh, this is so cool. It's nice and sticky. Look, it just holds its own shape. So cool! I think I'm just automatically in burger patty mode, so I'm trying to make this look like a burger patty. That's so funny. Okay, now I'm just gonna take this outside and I'm gonna cook this on a hot stone. Alrighty, see you in a little bit. Oh, it's so cool! Alrighty, my lilies, I am back with my cooked Neanderthal patty. And I have to say, I'm very pleased with how easily this cooked up. I did have a little bit of sticking on my stone and I did use a modern tool to scrape it off. But I think the trick is not to have the mixture to be too moist, too wet, so that it holds its own shape and that way you can just manipulate. After I flipped it onto the other side, I found I could just use my fingers and very quickly kind of flip the patty over. I cooked this for quite a while. I cooked it for about 20 minutes and I wanna make sure that the beans are well cooked. Isn't it amazing? It almost looks like a boca burger or like a veggie burger or something. And it's got a pretty hard surface on the outside. It smells great. It smells toasted, nutty. Kind of a little bit smoky. All right, let's give it a taste. Here we go. Itadakimasu. Mmm! That's actually pretty, pretty good much better than I expected. The mustard gives it a great flavor, a nice mustardy flavor, almost like um, a heat, but a great mustardy intenseness. It's like mustard without vinegar. And the combination of grains and nuts and beans are quite nice. The outside has a nice crisp texture, and this is what it looks like inside but it does need a little bit of salt. There is some inherent sweetness, but I like it. Mm -hmm. The texture is like a dry veggie patty in that sense, if you can think of a thickness and a texture, but the flavors don't taste like what I think of when I think of a veggie patty. I feel like in veggie patties there are a couple of avenues or the fake meat kind that are trying to be meat-like, so they have kind of a soy textured TVP kind of flavor and texture. Or there's ones that tend to be more vegetable or potato-based or bean-based. I feel like there's kind of the two different avenues. This is more like the latter, a little bit more like the vegetables, but it has a more tooth and bite to it. It's more substantial in some respects, but not bouncy. It doesn't have that kind of meat, bouncy fleshiness at all. It's drier, yet it's cohesive and stays together. And I like the flavors. So impressed. I like that way more than I thought. I didn't know really what to expect, but a 70,000 year old recipe for Neanderthal cakes, pretty stinking good. All right, my lovelies, thanks so much for watching and big thanks to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. If you'd like to try HelloFresh for yourself, please click the link down below or go to hellofresh.com and use my code EMMYMADE65 to receive 65% off and free shipping. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media, like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Doodaloo, take care, bye.
huh, this might be my lunch. I think it just needs a little bit of cheese and some roughage. Salt, of course, salt, yes, hot sauce.